Hello world, my name's Timster, and we are back with more tabletop gaming with... My boy K here. And we are back with more, well, magic. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first round, and we're going on to the second round. I actually don't remember the deck I'm using. And my deck this time is Vampiric Bloodlust. Against Arcane Wizardry. So let's see who beats who. Vampires versus Wizards. Who wants to go first? I went first last time and technically lost, so then I get I would um, get to decide, and I guess I'll go again first. Oh well then. And I can't play this hand because I don't have any mana in it. Mulligan. Yes, I have to mulligan. Now, do you want to do bro mulligan or wait? Do you want to do broligan or mulligan? Uh, I already put everything in here and already started <laughs> shuffling. It's too late to broligan. Well, I was saying like. Wasn't there a rule where we discard our entire hand and draw the same number? That's the regular we're... mulligan, yes. Oh, I thought that was you discard your whole hand and draw one less. Well, you usually get one free mulligan, which is the which is you you're allowed to draw all seven. Then you every time after that you lose one, and then there was and then there's no longer partial mulligans. They got rid of that. Oh, okay. but in casual games you could still partial mulligan if if your group will allow you to. Okay, so um. I'm going to play what comes in tapped. Crumbling Necropolis. And then pass my turn. Okay. So now it's my turn. I'll draw. I'm going to play Bloodfell Caves. Comes into the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, I gain one life. And I can tap it for a swamp or a mountain. That's we didn't reset, reset the, the last game. game. Perfect. New game. There we go. <laughs> and I Thank gain you. one life. Thank you. Eventually. Thank you, bro. <laughs> And I will have to end my turn. Okay. I tap. I draw. I'll play a swamp. And then I will end my turn. Okay. Now I draw. Grab my upkeep. I will play. Oh, this is a difficult one. Orzhov Guildgate. Enters the battlefield tapped. I can tap it for a plains or a swamp. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> and I don't have anything I can play for one, so I'll have to end my turn. Okay. I was just reading my eminence ability. Actually, yeah, I already read mine, right? Okay. I draw. Um, nope, I need two. There's nothing I can do with that. So I will play. Is it Borla Works? Comes into play tapped, and it bounces the land back to hand. So I'll bounce my swamp back to hand, and I will pass turn. Okay, here goes my upkeep. Draw phase. What the crap are you? So I guess the only thing I can do is I'll play a mountain. And I can actually do a few things for free. Or not for, I mean for three. But this might help me in the long run. So I'm going to tap all three of my mana and bring out Lorne Power Stone. Enters the battlefield tapped, but I can tap it for two floating mana. And I end my turn. Okay. I end tap. I draw. And I will play a swap. I can then tap for four, uh, well, for three. So I'll tap for three and play. I'll play Command uh, Spear. Spire. Spear. 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 Command spear. 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 It can tap for any color that my commander is. Ooh. Well, any one color. And I'll have to end turn. So at my turn, I will untap. Then I will draw. I will play a swamp. I think I'm going to do it. I am going to tap three, four, five, six. I'm going to tap a plains, a swamp, and a mountain with three additional to bring out Edgar Markov, my commander. Uh, whenever I cast another vampire spell, I can create a 1-1 one, one black vampire creature token, which I currently don't have. He's got first strike in haste, and whenever he attacks, I put a 1-1 one, one counter on each vampire I control. I assume that includes him? Yes. Okay. So, if you have no other creatures, 
and you have no haste, I will attack you for four. It has haste? Yeah. Ow. Yeah, it comes with first strike and haste. Well, that's annoying. And because he attacked, he gets a counter for plus one, plus one. And I will have to end my turn there. Okay. This is going to be fun. I untap, I draw. I'm just drawing giant thingies, aren't I? Yeah, that's what she said. I am going to tap that swamp to float it. I'm going to play Rakdos. Rakdos Guildgate? No, Carrium. Basically, it's the same thing as the Borolor, except to bounce a land back to hand. Hmm. That's annoying. Yeah, but it counts for two. A red and a, at, when I tap it, it counts for both of them. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, that's why you have to return one. It's a bounce land. And so I still have that one floating. Let's see. And then that would make three. I will then play Seagate Oracle. And then with my Eminence ability, I can tap one as long as I play a non-token wizard. To make the copy of this wizard that is a token. And it has haste, and I exile the token at the end of this turn. So, let me just pay the one to make that token. I'm just going to do that. And then, when it enters the battlefield, I look at the top two cards in my library. Put them into my hand. Let's see. Put one of them into my hand, and the other into the bottom of my library. And then, the cop token copy does the same thing. And I'll hit you for one. And with no other way for me to defend myself, I take the one. And then the turn that gets exiled. Is that it? That's all I can do. Okay. So at my upkeep, I will untap everything. Then I will draw. I oh, will... and a turn. Mm -hmm. I have to discard a card because I have too many cards. Good job. I will add a swamp, so I will tap my guild gate for for a planes, my power stone for two floating, and I will curse you, Edson, with curse of vitality. Whenever an enchanted player is attacked, I gain two life. Each opponent attacking that player does the same. Yep. I was going to say, I know this card well. It was in the cat deck. Huh. Oh, God, I didn't face that. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? I will go ahead and tap one, two, and three to curse Edson again with Curse of Disturbance. Whenever a enchanted player is attacked, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. Each opponent attacking that player does the same. And with no other cards I can play because I'm out of mana, I guess I'll go ahead and attempt to attack you with Edgar Mokog. And let's see, first dragon haste, so... He attacks, and because he attacked, he gets another plus one, plus one to, uh, thingy. And I take five. Yep. I'm down to 31. And let's read your newly cursed enchantments. You gain a zombie, and you gain two life. Cool. Do I have zombie? Somewhere. Oh, here we go. Yay! And I gain two. Come on now. And I will have to end my turn with that. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw. I wonder if there are sleeves for giant commanders. Yes, actually, yeah, you can buy a sleeve for them. Seriously? Yeah. I don't know how big of a size they sell them in, but yes, you can buy a sleeve for your giant commander. That's awesome. I shall play Swamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that for a Swamp in a Mountain. And then tap that for a island and a mountain. And I'm gonna play Caress. Ooh, what does that do? And uh, let's see. During each of your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. If a card cast this way would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. And I'm actually going to do that to make a second copy of her. Hmm. Oh, so you can do it twice now. Yep. And I'm just going to only have one target. So, let's see. I'm not sure. I don't think I can actually use the target, the same target twice. Because it exiles it after the first time it's used. So, 
I'm going to cast this. Choose a creature type. Destroy all creatures that aren't of that chosen creature type. I choose wizards. So there goes all of my vampires and zombies. And then this gets exiled. My creatures are just destroyed, right? Um, yeah. Okay. No! And... You flooped the pig. I swung for four. And there's nothing I can do, so I take the four. Okay. And then that's gone. I have two left. My second main phase, I can't do nothing with two. So I'll end my turn. Okay. I took a huge blow, but I'm still hanging in there, so I won't tap everything. And I will draw. So I guess the only thing I can do... One, two, three... Uh, four, five, and six. Tapping, let's see. So I'm tapping a plains, a swamp, one, two, three, four. And I will cast Merciless Eviction. I will exile all creatures. And with that done, I kind of screwed myself over because I can't do anything else. So I will end my turn. Okay. I probably should say that from free when you brought out your commander, but who knows when that's gonna be. Who knows if that if that's gonna be. I didn't play my commander last game either. <laughs> I draw well, That's kinda of the cool thing. The commanders don't actually have to be on the field to do their effects. Yes, which is nice. I play a mountain four. And then this for an island, so that makes point. Actually, Island, 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 Mountain, Swamp and Mountain. That should be six, right? No. Yep. Yes, yeah, six. For Arcanus the Omnipotent. Ooh. Omni Omni uh, omnipotent. Yes, Omnipotent. And then I will tap one to make a copy of it. Taste. I'm going to tap that copy to draw three cards. End turn. <laughs> That's all I can do. I was just like, I needed to. I needed to be able to draw stuff. So I was just like, you know what? Screw it. If it makes you feel any better, like I'm only getting enough land to cast one card from my hand each turn, but it's only that one. Uh, ooh. Well, I am shutting my front pie hole. I'm gonna go ahead and tap my one mountain to bring out Soul Ring. I can tap that for two mana. If I tap one, two, three, two swamps and one whatever, I'll bring out Vampire Nighthawk. So with Vampire Nighthawk, it's a two, three flyer with Death Touch and Life Flank. But I unfortunately cannot do anything else, so I'll have to end my turn. Okay. I'm going to tap. I'll draw. Let's see. That's four. That's five. And that's six. Sp uh, spell twine. Ooh. Exile target instant source three card from my graveyard and from an opponent's graveyard, and I get to copy both of them. I mean, it's a waste to use now, but I'm going to see if I can hopefully speed the game, and then this gets exiled. So that means I'm copying this, and I'm copying that. Okay, so... Let's see. All oh, enchantments. I'm also going to float my... Uh... Oh, actually, I don't need to float that. Actually, I'm going to float it anyways, because I can. <laughs> so I'm going to choose artifacts, and then I'm going to sacrifice it to draw a card. Okay. And with this one, uh, for each target player, I could create a token that of the creature that you have. You only have one creature. So I'll just make that one token. And it's got the same abilities as uh, mine, right? Uh, that's one plus one. Yeah, it's the exact same card as yours. Okay. And with the one floating that I got from my spear, I would play the soul ring that I drew from it. I'll tap the swamp and the soul ring, and I'll give you a curse of disturbance. Oh, great. So whenever I'm attacked, he gets a zombie creature token. I'm going to swing three. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and block it so both our creatures die. Yep. And technically I was still attacked, though I didn't take any damage. Do you still get a creature token? Um, yeah, it just says attack. It doesn't okay. say when damage is taken. Okay, so go ahead and put yourself a zombie. And you gain two life. I do? Your night hot or is it powers two, right? Yeah, you gain two life. Because oh, it right. dealt damage to my creature. Right, it doesn't have to deal damage to the player, just in general. Yeah, it just has to deal damage. Any yeah. damage dealt by it, it gives you life. Yeah, okay. And I will have to pass turn. Okay. Hopefully we can make this quick enough because both of our batteries are going to die. Mine's probably going to die first because mine's already at five. I guess I'll go ahead and play a swamp. It gives me one, two, three, four, six mana total. And unfortunately I need eight to cast that again. Yeah, I was just like, I need to slow you down with them artifact rocks. <laughs> So I guess I will three, four, five, and six. And that would bring out Mathis Fiend Seeker. What does Menace do? Um, it c can only be uh blocked by two or more creatures. Okay. If I recall, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what Menace was. And at the beginning of my end step, put a bounty counter on target creature and opponent controls. For as long as that creature has a bounty on it, it has when this creature dies, each opponent draws and gains two life. Or draws a card and gains two life. There's nothing else I can do, so I'll have to end my turn. Okay. Well, you can put a bounty counter on something. Maybe that's what it does now. Um, 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 I, don't, I don't know. That one, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I untap. I draw. Play an island. Okay. I'm going to try this one out. I'm gonna tap everything. And I'm gonna X that for three. Ooh, what does that do? Choose target creature or player, then choose another target creature or player for each time Comet Storm was kicked and it deals X damage. So let's see. That's gonna be two mountains, so I can, for the main cast, then one and the two extra from this for three. And then I'm gonna kick it five times. Jesus. So that's three times five. That'd be fifteen damage 15. that I can either ping at a creature or ping at you. So I'm gonna actually kill this dude off. We didn't do anything wrong. For three, and then you take the last twelve in the face. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm down to twenty-eight. And then I'll swing four. And one, two, three, four. I get two zombies, and I gain two life. Your <sighs> turn. Great. It's almost eight o'clock, and I cannot do anything. I can play a swamp. So that gives me seven mana. So I'm going to go ahead and tap a swamp. And three. And cast Siphon Mind. Each other player discards a card, and I draw a card for each card discarded that way. I guess I'll get rid of this guy. And as you discard, I get to draw. Okay, I will tap a Swamp. And two extras to bring out Keru Mind Eater. Oh, that goes to the graveyard. Oh no, there goes our life points. I was at... 33... And I think I was at 28? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, whenever Karu Mind Eater deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles a card from his or her hand face down. I mean, look at and play cards exiled with Karu Mind Eater. Um, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to end my turn. There's nothing I can do. Okay. I'll untap. And I'll draw. I'll tap a mountain in the island to play Nin, the pain artist. And then I'll tap one to make a copy of Nin, the pain artist. I'll tap myself out for six. And I'll deal six to itself. Wait, that's not the right one. To itself. And I get to draw six cards. Oh, okay. Two, four, six, eight. 
I you are someone I don't appreciate. Um I guess I will block one of your zombies. I live your zombie dies. Because I have one three. Okay. And my mind eater still lives, but I take six. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. You take six and I gain two. I'm at 35. And I'm down to 22. And will that be it? That's all I can do. Okay. So on my turn, I will upkeep. Make sure everything's in the shot still. I will draw. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to forfeit here because time constraints, battery le levels, and... Just even if I brought out my commander, it would still be a very slow game for me, I think. Yeah, I, plus I also had a uh, necromantic selection, which would have destroyed all creatures, and then I'd choose a creature from the graveyard and put it into the battlefield as a zombie token on my side, and, and so and so on and so forth. So in other words, forfeiting is the best call I could make in this game. <laughs> Alright, do you agree, Edson? Sounds good to me. At least I won something today. <laughs> So with that, it's a forfeit from me and another win for Edson. Technically, with all the card games we played in this one night, that makes it two to two. Well, technically, I had to forfeit the very first game of Yu-Gi-Oh! because I used the wrong deck. Technically, that doesn't even count. <laughs> oh, because I was going to say, if that counted, then it would actually be three for two. But at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you've been enjoying this series. I hope you enjoyed any other videos we put out for this series. Overall, I hope you're enjoying... That's in the shot, by the way. I know. <laughs> I hope you guys have been enjoying uh, Tabletop Corner. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, Mom.K out. Bye, world!